Charlotte Scherer from Charmade Crochet. I hope this video is finding you well and in good spirits. Uh, in today's video, I wanted to talk about all the things that I'm wearing. You can see this here, which I'm very nearsighted and the camera's too far away from me to actually tell myself, but I needed a pen to keep this bolero on, so excuse this part here. But anyways, I wanted to talk about what I'm wearing. So let's start from the head part. So I have a ribbon here. This is made out of some leftover yarn that I had from a dress that I will be showing you because I have it on. Um, but I thought that it would be a nice accessory piece to kind of highlight top to bottom like crochet stuff. Um, this is another pattern by Gianni Art. And to me, it is kind of like um, a vine with leaves on it. And I made it out of the scraps that I had from the dress that I made. And then this is a bolero. It's a pineapple bolero. And I'm gonna actually show you this because um, Jackie from Huck Again Good Company asked me to show her like what it looks like with it on because she was having issues with uh, seeing the pineapple part. And at the time it was I think in January or February and I was not willing to put it on because it was too cold for me. Um, it is significantly warmer now. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I show Jackie so that she can see the, uh, the bolero pattern. So here's what the front looks like. And here's what the back looks like. And then between the back and the shoulders, there's that extra pineapple lace part. And I have it at the middle because um, it's a, another type of crochet tape. Um, and you basically make it two separate pieces of tape that uh, can go around the perimeter of, uh, from, sorry, from up here to the center of your back and you make another one on the other side to go the perimeter, uh, to go half, half and half. So from the half point of your back, back up here, um, and then you sew it on. So it's done in three pieces like that. And I'll make sure to put a link in the description box down below for the um, the YouTube tutorial that I used. It was a tutorial by Mahovel Crochet. So anyways, that is the hair piece and this. Now the next piece is done with Gazelle Princess yarn, which is actually a thread and it's 100% rayon, and I bought 12 balls of this, and this is what's left of ball number 12. I couldn't actually make um, a, f like a final repeat with what I had here, so I, I just cut my losses, and I'd much rather have more than not enough, um, and I wasn't, ever going to, I'm not ever going to buy this yarn again. It was a pain in the butt to work with. And then on top of that, the fabric that I was making from the crochet felt so much like plastic. Um, I did a test to see if it was actually made out of natural fibers. It passed, but I am, I was kind of resentful of the fact that it felt like plastic when it was a natural fiber. So, anyways, here is the pattern. So, here's where you start off with. It's this section right here. And then from here, you work up. 
and I just decided to do a basic um, v-neck type top and it comes with a strap like that. I don't like showing that part so that's why I have the bolero on and then after you're done working the top you work the bottom which is the skirt pattern and you work around and around and around and around until you're happy with the length which I'm so happy that it stretched out because um, it stretched out a good three or four inches. Um, so for the skirt pattern, you do two rows like so, and then you do an increase row. And that's what kind of gives you that pleated look for the skirt. Um, and it goes all the way down. And for me, it went down to right above my knee, but now it is sitting comfortably like hiding my knees, which is the perfect length for me. I'm super excited that it went down. Um, and yeah, and so for this section here and this section here, I used a two millimeter crochet hook. And then for this section here, I used a 2.25 millimeter crochet hook. And I was actually really concerned because when I um, made the, um, when I was making it initially before it was blocked, it was actually a little bit tight on me and it actually felt like um, my chest was being compressed. But it's had a few washes um, and I did let, so I didn't have enough room to properly block it. So I had to kind of let gravity do its thing. Um, when I washed it, I put it up on a hanger to dry and that was what it needed um, to kind of stretch things out. Um, and it fits perfectly now. I'm really, really, happy with how everything has turned out with this pattern um, because I was really concerned that I was just going to be using it as a, a learning experience, which it was, um, but I didn't know if I was going to be able to be comfortable wearing a dress like this. And now that I know that I am, um, I'm really excited to make more. So, um, Anyways, this is, like I said, one of my spring fling projects. And I really just wanted, um, I felt like it deserved its own little um, segment um, because I felt that it was worth it. And I put a lot of effort into it. With all the, without the pauses in between, cause there were like weeks in between where I didn't touch the dress. Um, it still probably would have taken me a month to make because the thread is so silky and so springy that it kind of wants to like spring away from itself. So if you split the yarn or um, for example, I have the dress has um, puffs. Here we go. So the dress has puffs and if you were to like accidentally drop a yarn over, you would have to drop the entire puff and start again. And it was so frustrating um, and a little bit hard on my hands. I would have to use my finger to kind of like place it, <laughs> make sure that it didn't go anywhere. Um, so it could, it got a little bit hard on my fingers because of how hard I was pressing down on the puff stitches. Yeah, um, that is what I am wearing today. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.